Indeed, we have. So I've been talking about them a lot. Apex is the infamous, infamously mysterious team. In fact, one of the few teams on NA to completely keep their build a secret, refusing to team you, not scrimming with anyone from North America. And once again, is Apex Prime versus Elusive. Alright, listen, they've got 40 seconds of a swiftness on uh, the side of Apex, and on the other side, uh, just about 10. Oh my god, I'm just watching this in sort of awe as uh, this is working really well for Apex actually. Really caught Elusive off guard and it is Cass, the engineer from Elusive, running away trying to heal up the rest of, of, of everyone from Apex is looking very healthy. Uh, in the beginning of the fight, Ender Anim is also running away, he's on fire, he has to pull out this wall to, like, to get away here. This feels like this team. Apex is just running right now. They have actually lost their home point, but they're going to descend upon the midpoint. Furious anger. Right? I'm watching Age Ben right now. He's just really running and just gunning at this point. Yeah, swapping between his hammer and, and, and longbow really effectively. for mid but check out what's going on at altar it's gonna be night and day going up against ender and uh and his illusions they're trying to push in here not the smartest move in honesty as again you're not gonna see him probably fall back here did have the support of his thief but again they just said all right guys again we're not getting anything here let's get out of here but ender may not be able to escape the clutches of his opponents here now and now they range we Oh my god, Apex already has that buff, like 10 yep. seconds after it comes down. What amazing rotation skills coming out of Apex. Oh my god, someone's already on train. Oh my goodness, Apex. this could be so bad, man. Apex is on top of things here, and I don't think he's going to be interrupted. Not work versus Apex. Yes, it's, it's so sad to see it in a game that's 234, and you can tell that there will be no comeback because the, it's right now. Elusive is doing the, the the Guild Wars equivalent of trying to walk through a solid brick wall. One, three, two, one, pull the wall, pull the wall, pull the wall. Apex has descended from Mount Olympus to teach us how to actually play this game. I mean, they got four versus three, and they're not even making a dent on the red team at the moment. Nobody's even getting remotely low. Your day is probably the main focus here, and even he is just sitting at about six for health. And all in the meantime, they're still knocking out targets. Seeing chat calling uh, calling Apex's uh, comp brick wall prime. Brick wall prime. It's amazing. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty accurate. You know, it's, it's pretty much a brick wall. Like we're seeing a three cap right now, Blue. Yeah. That's a red brick wall right now. The comp is essentially a, like a self-repairing brick wall. Like, you you need some serious hardware to take it down. It's just again, there's just, like there's not much else to say here. It's just that it's the comps. <laughs> oh, 
the comps are like 90% of what is happening here at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's actually 100% of what's happening. Yeah. So, <laughs> literally, you cannot deal with what Apex is playing down. After they came and destroyed the land, there was one spark of hope left for all of man. Good fights. Our first team moving forward in the semifinals. That is the that is actually the crowd favorite, I believe, to win this tournament, if we remember the poll correctly. Yep. That was our number one voted team. Uh, actually, I'm hearing in chat that someone has stolen the Apex comp here. Have they? Yeah. It, it does seem familiar. <laughs> Didn't want to call him out on it just yet, but since we're bringing it up, Kefi's comp is very similar to the comp that Apex runs, if not identical, so... That'll be very interesting to play against indeed, as Apex's comp has come under a lot of, I would say, criticism, just because of how tanky it is and how annoying it may be to fight against, so... We're gonna have to see just how well Snow Monkey deals with that. Again, they just don't have anything left to push, so with that, guys, pretty sure that we're gonna be seeing KP take this. GG's have been called. KP is gonna be moving on to the round of eight. Of the KPZ, it looks like they're gonna take this in game three here, man, and move forward to fight good fights. But again, giving up mid, that's a pretty big gamut on good fights this far because now they're gonna have to rely almost completely on side cap fights. It's a rough loss for game one. Indeed, not looking good for good fights, but we will be going into game two and then we'll have at least one more chance to come back and. Yeah, we are seeing a 3 cap. I mean, in my opinion, this game is over at this point. We're going to be seeing more than likely our KP's team. It's unhindered and as well. Good fight is get to even break 100 points here, so KP's team is going to take this one dominantly. They will be moving on to the Grand Finals of Guild Wars 2 North American Tournament of Legends. In the downside as well, not out yet. It's not in out. In the middle of the sink. But we actually see a Tanny coming over here, and it was Quilja. And Morphe is coming in for the stomp. And Hewa can save, and no, he's gonna get stomped down the middle. But it's Team Lonely who has the only capture node right now. And Kane is on the window, is grabbing game. it up. If somebody is gonna win this game and beat a tank up, this is how you do it right here. And Team Lonely is doing is doing this so well right now. They can come back, they can take this game. They just gotta do this well enough for the rest of the game. To have Wallbaker Prime, but they need bodies on down points. Hewa is down. They got nobody going over there. They're gonna let them have it. Red team will be controlled. They'll get their two cap. They might get a three cap here. Apex, I believe, is gonna be taking this game. They are gonna be moving on to the grand finals to take on KP. They're here at the grand finals between Apex and KP. Well, Prime is being built up brick by brick, and now will the other wall be built up? The KP has called GG here, so with that, we're going to be seeing Apex take round one. The GG's called, so congratulations to KPZ. They're going to take game two, they're going to tie this setup at 1 1. Minute now, so, yup, and GG has been called here by Intense. Apex will now be taking game two, and they will be up 2 1. This map has so far favored KPZ going forward here, Blue. Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, is this going to be a sign of the rest of this game here? The blue team Apex was actually able to take control of the buff, but they don't have a point to show for it, unfortunately. We have bottom buff spawning, but look! Where's the red team? Where's the red team? Nobody's down here. Okay, H-Man's channeling it right now. Oh, uh, this is gonna be free cap. Master Splinter's on the way, but will he be able to get here in time? The other player coming in, Master Splinter's gonna try to grab it. No! He's not getting that, and now Apex has a three cap. They're also getting the residual buff. They've got a six cap. This could be the comeback from H-Man, and they got the top buff too, so they've got this. They've got a six cap. The comeback is easily coming in now for the boost. They've got contested on all three nodes, and in this matchup, oh, this is gonna be so horrible for KPZ. Apex coming back there with a double buff spawn in eight minutes and 30 seconds. He is gonna be able to take this game in the 3-1 victory and win the Guild Wars 2 Tournament of Legends North America.
So they have. What's they're up? both side points. Yeah, they got here. both side points. right now blue because apex is not movable they're they're an unmovable object we can see here members of both teams starting to get low knights not looking too hot condies will throw him into the down step we got wallbreaker prime gonna come and try to get the stop double res coming off for these guys over the lot of a we can go on them in the process you can see condies loading up onto the members of the red team but they are healing like a storm at the moment day is doing work here brilliantly done bringing three of his members down with what seem to be about 20 to 30 percent pretty much back up to full with their excellent recovery by day on apex <laughs>